Morning guys. Got it working. I changed the motor to the one that I'd rewound because it's a nice um, cylindrical case so it's better balanced. That's the armature that I rewound in one of my previous episodes that actually kicked off this discussion about brushed motors being run as brushless. So there's our brushless ESC. Actually got a 2S LiPo there. Slide that on there. Uh, go and get my controller. So, oh, battery's running down on there. Got an amber at the moment. Because <laughs> we've got no reverse with it being fan driven brushless. I'll put the camera on a tripod, then I can use two hands and actually get the steering on there. Not that that will make much difference because I can't turn it tightly enough to come back. Let's see if we can get it to go round in a circle. So, it works. Different brushed motor. Uh, success. It's actually raining outside, otherwise I might tr go and try that in a car park or something, so we've got a bit more space. Just in case you're getting all excited about this piece here, in case that has any effect on it. We're not nitrous powered or anything like that. That just happens to be one of those gas canisters that I was able to tap the end of the shaft and push it into it's a soft metal seal on it so that's actually holding it in place and then I've added some hot glue just to stop it rocking around but that's just a convenient way of holding it so there's no significance in this, although it makes it sort of look interesting. That's it then. Brushed motor with the commutator bypassed, just three wires coming off the coils, going to an ESC, a normal brushless ESC. That does get rather hot. <laughs>